What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. Today we have an unboxing of a very special football boot and I'm really excited about this one and I'm so excited that we're just going to jump right into the video. And bam, here's the box of the boots here. As you guys can already see, made in Japan with your Mizuno branding. So this is in fact a Mizuno made in Japan product. And here is the tag. So these are the Mizuno Alpha made in Japan. I have these in the artificial grass variant. I play mostly on artificial grass, so this was the way to go for me. I have these in the fiery coral colorway. And these are gonna run you $280 retail. 320 for the regular FG, for the AG, 280. Um, now I decided to pick these up uh, because I actually got them on sale on soccer.com. I got them for $194. That seemed a little bit more reasonable to me, so I decided to pull the trigger on them. Now this is going to be my first ever Mizuno product, but I've heard great things about their brand, especially about their Made in Japan products. So I'm definitely excited to try these out and give you guys my honest opinion about them. But let's get into the unboxing here. The first thing we're going to see when we open the box, it looks like it's going to be this string bag that's made out of plastic and mesh. Nothing spectacular, nothing fancy about this string bag. You would think you would get something a little bit more premium for the $200 and, uh, $280 uh, price point, but you don't. So what are you going to do? Let's just toss that to the side. And these are going to be the boots right here. The Mizuno Alpha. Made in Japan. They look absolutely beautiful in this fiery coral colorway. Very vibrant. They're definitely going to stand out of the pitch. Something I am personally a big fan of. So these are definitely in my ballpark here. Alright, but let's talk a little bit about this boot here. So fully synthetic upper. It almost feels grippy out of the box. I'm sure there is a coating on top of the synthetic upper to give you that additional grip, which I can't complain about. I am always a, fa a fan of um, extra grip on the ball, so I can't complain there. There's also this inner cage liner inside of the boot here, as you guys can see, and that's just to give the boot some structure and to keep your foot nicely and secured when you tie the laces tight so that's also going to be a plus on these boots here on this uh inner inner uh, heel counter here there's this a uh, zero glide technology that's very grippy here it's supposed to prevent your sock or your heel from sliding and moving all over the place so that's also a plus there here is the sole plate. On the FG model, you do get a carbon uh, insert on the forefoot here. You don't get that, unfortunately, with the AG version, but it still feels very snappy, as you guys can see here. So I don't know how much of that you're actually going to miss. And you do have to remember that these are $40 less than the FG version, so... Yeah, how much snapback does that insert actually provide? I don't know. I haven't tried that particular um, model, but this one feels snappy already. So no complaints so far. And um, yeah, these are it right here. Design speed right there. Right here you have Japan Spirit. Made in Japan inside of the inside of the boot there. So yeah, first impressions, they feel really nice. They feel like they're gonna last a very long time. The quality on these feel really good on hand. Um, I'm excited to put these on feet and try them out. So let's go ahead and uh, try them on and I'll let you know I'll let you guys know how they feel on feet. All right, so here are the Mizuno Alpha on feet. As I expected, out of the box, they feel extremely comfortable. There is no tightness around this area or anything like that. So they feel really good out of the box. Usually with speed boots, they 
tend to be more narrow out of the box and require some breaking time. These just feel like they're going to require little to no breaking time because of how pliable this upper is. So yeah, they feel really good. I'm definitely excited to take these out into the field and uh, try them out fully. Now I am wearing these in my usual US size 7. They do run a little bit long, about half a thumb long. So just keep that in mind. If you like zero space here and you like more of that suffocating feeling here on your foot, then I would suggest going half a size down. But if not, for most people, I would just recommend going true to size. So yeah, this is how they look. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm a big fan of this colorway. And they feel extremely light on my feet as well. I am actually interested to find out how much these weigh. So let's go ahead and move on to the next portion of the video and uh, check out how much uh, these weigh on the scale. All right, so moving on to the weight of the boots. I have uh, three speed boots here. I have the Mizuno Alpha, the Mercurial Vapor 15 Elite, and the New Balance Freon V7. Now this is a destroy model, the first takedown model of the top end, but a speed boot nonetheless, so I thought it'd be fun to throw it into the mix here. But let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and actually start off with this one here. We do have the scale in grams. So let's see how much these are weighing in at. And they're weighing in at 191 grams. So still fairly on the light side for these boots here. Not heavy at all. Let's move on to the Vapor 15. And as you guys can see at an extremely lightweight at 161 grams for these. Now, these are one of the lightest speed boots on the market. They're super lightweight. They weigh almost nothing. And as you guys can see here, similar to the Mizuno Alpha, these have that inner cage uh, liner inside of the boot as well. So just a couple of similarities there. But let's go ahead and throw on the Mizuno Alpha on the scale. And they're weighing in at 180. 80 grams so still very light super lightweight it's not quite as light as the vapor 15 these still top these off but these two go head to head when it comes to the speed boot category um, i've heard great things about this i've heard it even regarded as one of the best or as the best speed boot on the market so I'm excited to have these on feet and try them on on the ball and everything. I've obviously had these for a while now. A while now, sorry. I'm a super big fan of these. Um, I love everything about them. So these definitely have some catching up to do, if you will. But I've heard great things. And based on um, how they feel on my feet so far and trying them on and on how pliable this upper feels and on that lightweight, this is going to be a, a great package as well. All right, guys. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. These were my first uh, thoughts and impressions on the Mizuno Alpha made in Japan. They are extremely lightweight. The upper is uh, super pliable out of the box. They also have a nice shape and a nice width to them. The upper feels sticky for additional grip. So I'm just super excited to take these out into the field. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on so you don't miss that video when it drops. If you uh, found any of this information helpful, uh, please leave a like on this video. It would help it out a lot as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.